Hi, in this video, we are going to see how we can build a question answering system on a bunch of PDF files. Now, say if you want to get some information out of a PDF file, a set of PDF files, say if you have all the uh, annual reports, quarterly reports, or even like all the corporate actions of companies like Amazon, Google, and other companies, and you are a stock analyst. Rather than going and searching inside the enormous PDF files, can I ask questions on, on the data that is available on the PDF file, more like contextual questions, not a random search, right? And can I get respective answer to that? So let's see how we can do it. Uh, let's get started. I am going to use a package called CDQA. CDQA stands for Closed Domain Question Answering System. This Closed Domain Question Answering System package is built on top of Hugging Face Transformers library. So I'm going to use that. I have already installed it. And I am importing a set of uh, packages. I'm using uh, pandas to read the data or rather the internal data that uh, is required by CDQA should be in pandas format. And CDQA library has functions to take a PDF file or other format and then uh, convert it to pandas data frame. So I am importing some of CDQA's packages. I am installing QA pipeline that is the question answering pipeline where we are going to build the pipeline and fit the, our documents. PDF converter is takes a set of PDF documents and converts it into a pandas data frame and download model is to download the pre-trained model that we are going to use. Right. So these are the packages I'm importing. Let me run this and I'm going to download a pre-tailed model now and for that uh, let me run this and for that what I'm doing is I am a kind of downloading BERT SCORD 1.1. This BERT SCORD 1.1 is a pre-trained model that is trained on a uh, SQUAD data set. SQUAD data is basically Stanford question and answer data set which consists of uh, questions on basically Wikipedia articles. Right. Uh, there is one more version of this model that is available. That is uh, Distill Scott. Uh, sorry, Distill Bird. Distill Bird is basically a lightweight model uh, similar to Bird, uh, but it, it has forty percent less parameter than Bird. So if you want faster inference uh, with slightly lesser accuracy, you can uh, down, download Distill Bird instead of Bird. Right. So this is the model I have pre-trained model I have downloaded. I downloaded in the dot slash models directly in my Unix box. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to download some documents which we are going to uh, use for this purpose. So I'm creating a directory called docs where I'm going to download all the PDF files and I'm downloading some P PDF files from the internet. All these PDF files belongs to Amazon. So these are Amazon quarterly uh, financial results. You have for Q3, uh, Q3 uh, 2019, Q4, uh, Q1, Q2, Q3 of 2020. These are the documents uh, that are available. I am going to uh, download all these documents inside the docs folder. So what I'm doing, if you see over here, I'm telling download inside the uh, dot slash docs folder. That's what I've given over here. So all these documents are now downloaded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to convert that into an pandas data frame that we can feed it into the QA pipeline. That is a question answering pipeline of CDQA. Now, uh, for that, I'm using the PDF converter function of CDQA. So the PDF converter function takes a directory and this directory is the dot slash docs where we download all the PDF. It's going to take all the PDF. Now, I just downloaded uh, five PDFs, but you can uh, download as many number of PDFs you want and you can keep it in the directory. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use a pre-trained model and then just uh, give some information about our documents. But you can also easily custom train your document if you have annotated data set similar to squad data set. So if you have a lot of annotated data set, you can build your own custom uh, Q&A pipeline. But here I'm just going to use the existing model and I'm going to just uh, fit the documents that we have downloaded. So what I'm doing is I am let me run this. I'm uh, basically calling the PDF converter, giving the directory path. I will get a data frame. The data frame is a pandas data frame, and it will have basically column the article name and the paragraph within that entire document. So whatever is there within the document, it's going to convert that into a single column, and I will have the article name as one column. These are the two columns that it's going to. Go. So this is how it looks like. It has a title column and the paragraph. I know the paragraph is truncated. So what I can do is to view the entire paragraph. I can just say pd set options uh, display max call with so by default it shows truncated if i say max column with us minus one then it's going to uh, take unlimited uh, column width and let me print again the data frame 
Now, if you see basically this is how it contains. This contains all the information that is there in the document. Uh, it contains their uh, quarterly uh, uh, quarterly financial statement. What is the earning? What are the investment that are, they are making? What are the business challenges that they are facing? Everything is there over here. Right. So uh, this will help us ask question like, OK, what are my future expansion plans uh, and that will go and search document and get information or how is uh, Amazon affected due to current coronavirus? What are the uh, business challenges that they are facing? We are going to ask some question and see how it responds back. But this is how the pandas data frame looks like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to next create a pipeline over here. Uh, the QA pipeline is question answer pipeline and I'm going to tell my reader as the model that I downloaded. I downloaded the BERT model so I'm just doing the dot slash models uh, of the BERT model that I have downloaded and I have the pipeline and I'm going to call the fit retriever method with the data frame I have on top. So there are two things here. Now there is a function called fit reader. Fit reader is basically if you have an annotated data set uh, similar to squad, you can directly feed it, feed the uh, data set here and you can uh, you can basically fine tune this model. The other option fit retriever is nothing but it fits the pipeline on corpus using pre-trained reader. Our pre-trained reader is BERT and the corpus that we are downloaded PDF file, it's going to just fit the uh, fit the pipeline on that downloaded corpus. So now I have a fit model. Let me start asking questions to it, right? So the very first question I'm going to ask is, how much is increase in operating cash flow? So if you are aware about quarterly statement, uh, that is an uh, that is basically a balance sheet. That is uh, your regular income statement or also your cash cash flow statement. Your cash flow uh, tells operating cash tells the health of your company as well. So you want to see whether you are running in a positive cash flow or a negative cash flow. So what I'm asking is how much is increasing operating cash flow? And let me. I am calling the, this is a question I have, I am calling the pipeline object that I created on the top, I am calling the predict function. So if you see over here, I have the CDQA pipeline, uh, fitted pipeline with my documents. I am calling the predict function, I am passing the query over here. I am telling get the top three responses, right? And uh, once I run my prediction, you can see basically over here. Uh, during uh, during the uh, Q1 2020, uh, the cash flow basically increased by 16%. And you can also see the document where it talks about it. Basically, in this operating cash flow, it shows like um, it, it increased from this to this. If you open the document, you will get a better version of it. And finally, it says like 16 over here, right? And it also says like 25%. Uh, if I scroll down slightly, just give me a minute. Okay, so you can see basically the 16% is over here, 25% uh, and 33%. These are the increase in, increase in uh, cash flow. So you can see 16%, 25%, 33%. 1% was in Q1 2020, other was in uh, Q4 2019 and another was in Q3, uh, Q3 2019, right? These are the three one. Next, I'm going to ask question like, what is the latest earning per share? Right. Let's see how it perform performs. So it's going to just say, OK, on Q1 2020, the earning per share is 7.09. And you can see also this where the exact word in the document is right. It's printing it. Uh, how many jobs are created in 2020? Now, if you see this particular question, if I print this, it's telling basically 1.1 million jobs are created in 2020, but that's not right because Amazon does not have uh, really 1.1 million employees in total as well. So if you see this particular paragraph, you can actually go and see uh, the details where it is coming. And in this case, what has happened when they call this 1.1 uh, million jobs are created, uh, it is not only, um, not only Amazon employees, but it is also the uh, the network that they are they have a lot of merchant network indirectly amazon has created 1.1 million jobs uh, that's what it's telling over here okay now next what i'm going to do is now this is not tell me exactly what employees they have right so i'm going and focusing my question and reframing my question like how many full time employees are on amazon role now, if you see over here, this time I'm going to call the same pipeline. I'm going to print the output telling like 650,000 employees are there. Amazon has uh, 650,000 employees. And you can see exactly which uh, document this occurred and also like the, the paragraph it occurred, right? You got that information. And finally, like I'm going to ask a different question rather Amazon, right? Amazon also owns cloud services. They have the AWS cloud. 
So what I'm going to uh, basically do over here is I am asking Amazon like what products of AWS services were announced and they were made generally available. So typically what happens when they announce an AWS service, they keep it in beta so that customers can test it. But what were made generally available to users? Right. And I have uh, this question. I'm going to take the, get the top five predictions in this case. So let me run this and let me uh, run the prediction. Uh, you can basically see, OK, these are the different services that were made generally available. Amazon Detective was made in Q1 2020, Amazon Forecast Q3 2019, Amazon Lake, AWS Lake for Viva Formation in Q3 2009. You can see basically all this, uh, all this uh, services AWS announced just general availability of, right? All this were made general available. And basically, you got some good contextual question rather than you going searching and all and wasting time in searching. You can just quickly run this, right? Finally, what is the impact of COVID on business? We know Amazon uh, did pretty well during the COVID cycle because a lot of buying went online. And it says, okay, negatively impacted by the COVID crisis. It tells you where the title is and where the exact location is. So this gives you a very easy way of building QA system. It can be a good personal project as well. It uh, You just have some something uh, documents you just take the documents feed it to this and build a system one thing i want to highlight is this particular cdqa pro project is not no longer maintained but you can still use it and everything they, this is kind of a pretty good working version of it you can go and fine tune it it's only the new updates are not getting made but there's a new other project called deep set uh, ai a stack uh, you can go and search and you can also find this information on cdk which you can use alternatively but at least for my personal purpose and everything i found this pretty effective pretty easy to use and i kind of use it for some of the analysis that i do so that's about it thank you very much